All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two, future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone in DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Jones is three years his senior. He will have a three inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us started, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's UFC first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA! Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones! Jones! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 11 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, Surreal Bogomol. All right, good to be losing the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? Let's go. Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against the other guy who can really do well. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Effective punch there by Jones. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas. Nice kick. Oh, beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he steps into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. He blocks the punch. Oh, so a tie here. 
I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Another one. Yep. Oh, and the left hand. Jones gets caught with that punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. He changes the angle, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Oh, nice hook there by Jones. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones, and he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight, DC. And you have to have it, because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his waist. So 28 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Some nice back and forth action here. And he landed the right hand there. Nice slip to avoid the left. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, he heard a bell with the jab. Jones has lowered John now starting to show signs of swelling. Hands higher, hands higher. Beautiful kick. Just misses with a left hook there. How good is that right hand? Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He's able to slip the left there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Jones's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, big left hand there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Great timing on that double leg. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Jones. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, yeah, right here. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you the got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because like he knows that he can get the finish. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, DC, second round is getting yeah, underway. Ready, round one, ready? not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. All right, keep your hands up this round for me. Keep your hands up. Just misses with the jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. Here. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really
really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just misses there with the left. Nice strike. Just missed with the left there. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Jones's lower jaw is extremely swollen now. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Great punch landed with so much power. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Oh, elbow up top by Jones. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single power tie. Jones gets stung by that leg kick. Big punch land. Ooh. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big leg kick land. Jones has got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Oh, man, hate to be hit with one of those knees to the body. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to knock gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Wow. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh! What a fight so far. All right, let's get to some highlights from that previous round. A lot of high-level leg kicking going on there, champ. And he did a great job of hiding it. He wasn't giving any sign that he was going to throw those leg kicks. That's why you didn't see his opponent check any of the kicks, and it won't take many more for him to really damage the mobility of, of the other combatant. When he sets on you, take him down. And then just... 
All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in the two rounds. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage if you can hit him in the body that clean. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. Nice punch lands over the top. And they separate. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent with a pair of bags. Oh, oh, those are, oh, oh! Lands a big elbow there. And they separate. Just over three minutes to go. Straight punch lands. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pat. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Just reached the midway point of the fight. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnny Bone. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Ninety seconds to go. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Johnny Bone. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's going to be busy. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Under a minute now to go in the round. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Jones. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the round. Good work from the top here by Jones. Here. And this 
might just... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you got to think the knockdown is going to be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fuck Big punch lands to the middle. Oh, big elbow. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh, nice land there by Johnny Bones. Mike Winklejohn told me before the fight, you haven't seen 30% of what John Jones does in the gym and starting to show you some of those new wrinkles here tonight. Right punches there. Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Beautiful strike. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> and they separate. There's no give on that leg kick. Caught that kick there. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that. Right on the cut. And oh! oh! Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Just out of range with that right hook. Oh, big punch lands. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! sure if that's the way he drew it up but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout and that's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming so a big big win for him here tonight well he's going to enjoy watching this one back let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago it was right hand after right hand after right hand finally he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night so there he is